Hey guys, a lot of people have been asking how I make the sandbags, so I'm just doing a quick video. Um, this is the material I use, it's a Holland and Barrett bag, um, like cotton, so it's the right sort of material, um, nice and cheap, one pound in the pound shop. Then what you do is you cut it into strips, uh, obviously double sided, so two pieces of fabric there. There you go. And then for the tied sandbag, so that's the one I'm doing the, the video for, um, you, I, I measure out six centimeters, so obviously that's extra there. Then the six centimeters and extra there as well. Okay, so what you do is you cut there. Okay, they're just coming a bit closer. All right now, if you haven't if you haven't got a sewing machine, then obviously this is going to be a bit harder, but it can be done. So obviously, what you want to do is sew around three sides, but leave one edge open. Okay, so. Uh, if I start there, so as you can see, I'm going around the edges. Then what you're left with, obviously you need to tie and tidy up a bit, is an inside out sandbag. So that obviously needs turning in the right way. But before I do that, this is where you trim off the excess, but remember not to trim too close to the stitches, otherwise the stitching will come out. So just cut it. It doesn't matter, it doesn't have to look amazing because it's gonna be on the inside anyway. So just go all the way around. Like that, okay, and then what you do is you turn it in in the, the correct way. I normally use a pen or something. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video now and I'll show you what it looks like after. Okay, so as you can see, I've now turned that in the correct way. That was the inside there. Um, so as I said, this is going to be the tied up sandbag. Now remember, you can cut excess off of these. So what I you knew, now need to do is fill them up. So what I use is this very fine um, aqua gravel, aquarium gravel. It's literally very, very, very fine. I find that works best. Some people might use sand and whatever else they can find, but I find that that works best. It's more pliable, it's, it's got a good weight to it, and it doesn't go all stodgy when it gets wet. So um, again, you can experiment on that. So um, if I just pause the video again now, I'll show Right, so what I've done now, I've, I've just filled it. Um, and again, you're going to work out how full you want these and how pliable you want them. Obviously, the least, the less you get in, the more pliable it is, but then you want it to look full. So I fill it up to about that line there. Now, what you then do, I'm not going to do this on camera because it, it's, you know, it's, it's easy. Um, in fact, actually, uh, if you've got a sewing machine, you can then sew the end up, but you've got to be very careful um, to watch your fingers because the stones will come back out. Um, you can do it with a, with a needle, obviously, if you haven't got a sewing machine. that just helps to stop the stones from coming back out again again trim off all the uh, excess now that is sealed so what you do now you obviously tie it up to the size and shape you want get a bit of um, cotton tie it up nice and tight and then you would obviously cut off the excess at the end to the size that you want and you can obviously squeeze them, you can play with them. Um, if you've seen my tank, you can paint them, you can weather them, you can squash them down on top of each other. They're very malleable. Um, I use some glue to, to glue them into place and they give the impression of a real proper sandbag. Okay, um, I hope that you found this useful. Um, let me know if there's anything else you want to see. Thank you.